And you could cheat. I don't like. Come on, scarf. Okay, well, what, what are you even? If you really wanted to. Real question with her. Yeah, it's a good question. It could also just not be cheating anymore. You're reading everyone else's poker face. True. There isn't my sense Since motive. Hmm. <laughs> okay, never <laughs> mind. The issue of skill challenges when you're a Megus. Are you literally relying on the heart of the cards? I might have to. I'm looking at my at my skills going. I don't really have anything here that's not going to just like fuck me over. Well, I'm minus two to bluff. Flip over the table. <laughs> Distract them with looking really cool and get a chance to look at all of your cards. I see. Flip. Backflip, it's always yeah. applicable. I would, I, would, I would like to faint by table flip. I'm afraid Alana is kicked out in the second round. I kind of figured with that too, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's see how Roland does. Sees another game. Or magazine. Okay, that's why I attached all of her skills to her cards. So I should just use that. Uh, Okay, he gets kicked out in this first round. Nice. Hey. Go team. Fair enough. But, uh, beyond this, Alana was looking for someone to fight for the MMMMA club. This is also true, yes. Let's see. Uh, I believe actually quite a lot of, like, if you wanted to fight one of your classmates, a lot of them are in it. Oop, what the fuck? I'll beat up anybody, let me at him. I'm curious to <laughs> MMMA fights? Do they need to be one on one? Uh, technically no, but it does have to be, you know, vaguely equal. You can have two on two, three on three. Yeah, that's kind of my thought of can it be a team contest? That's what I was wondering. Uh, let's see, where's my class list? No, I like the idea of adventuring parties fighting each other. I mean, that's technically an option. I was, yeah, you don't have to, while you do have to beat people for the class, you don't necessarily have to be, uh, you just have to be in the club to fight people, and anyone can technically join the club if you just did that party wide fights. But I imagine that's not everyone's thing looking at Slaylis. Looking at Aaron? Also, eh. If there's something I mean, I can for see her. Aaron. I mean, if nothing, uh, nothing else, Rose, we can do tag team. I could see Aaron attempting to deck someone, but doesn't mean he's going to do it very well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we, I'm not, yeah, but I'm saying at some point, though, we. Yeah, instead of us fighting each other constantly, we could tag team. Yeah. That's true. At some point. Right now, I'm picking up dirt. Yeah, you're not here, unfortunately. You can bank that for later, though. Uh, let's see. Let's have everyone in your class. Well, it'll probably be a case of step. This will be a setup for later. Basically, guarantee you get a deal with, deal with one of these people. Uh, there's other. Uh, let's see. Fishes. I have to look in the fucking sidebar for Roll20 to type these down. I also want to type in the chat. It's, uh... Okay, very well. Yeah, if you want to basically go out and set up something for later, that can be done. And they'll just guarantee that you do actually get a fight for, you know, clearing off your classes. I have to go look at everybody and judge yeah, them. Yeah, I'll let you, you know, ponder yeah. on that. You can we'll make flip back to. People. Don't beat up my friend. I think, I think Silas technically also joined the club. You could just go deck him. <laughs> no. Do it. Because Silas oh my not God, do it. The... Do it. Come on, actually, it's right. hmm. well, it might reported. not actually be terrible for Silas against Alana, just because of the fact that, hey, you might have AC, but I wonder if you have a lot of CMB or CMD. The answer yes, to that case is yes. Okay. Then no. No, Silas judges, judges people fairly well, so he would know, no, I'm not getting into a physical contest with Alana. I mean, can I you just turn it down like that? Alana. Yeah, uh, you can turn it down a month of times before people go. Hey, you actually have to go do shit to be in this club, technically. Well, well of course, Silas is going to go challenge people for psychic duels. <laughs> so this is going to go challenge for wimps. I mean, it is yeah, his words. I mean, I like the idea that in a psychic duel, because he's improved on a strike, if he's losing, he'll just punch. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's you're not true. wrong. I can force punch people in the psychic duel. I just like the idea of while you're fu force punching them in the psychic duel, you just real life punch them simultaneously. So let's quickly disconnect from the psychic duel and just punches them in the nose. Then reconnect back before anyone knows this. <laughs> oh, lol, strategy. We've got a flashback to the city pair. Ah. In the distance. In the distance. 
The city is actually fairly built up. There's a lot of towers, there's a lot of infrastructure where you can see pipes. What appears to be like proper like um what the fuck are they called? Lamp posts. You forgot what lamp posts were. <sighs> How often do you think about lamp posts, Tinder? All the time, clearly. Evidently. I'm thinking anyway, yeah. about them right now. <laughs> The city appears to be the main hub where people lived, where you suppose people live in the outside the towns just like to quiet. It's pretty evident to see, even from a while away, that the town is crawling with constructs. Before it was crawling with constructs and wraiths and such, but that's less of an issue now. Do you still want to go in? Yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, okay. Okay, starts walking towards the be careful! Boss, always careful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, stealth. Stealth. stealth or, suppose, or, you know, something else you Stealth think or applicable more. skill. If you want to barrel roll through the entire city. Can I dance to barrel roll through the entire city? You can you dance, dance if you want to. You're, you're not a bard, you don't have acrobatics in place of dance. Damn it. There's time to move. But that'd be a two-level dip moddy class, so I'm pretty serious. Come on, Roldway. There you go. Ippos just disappears. I don't know what Evan's yeah. perception oh, is like, but uh, Ippos disappears. Uh, Aaron's perception is pretty good. Um, I will also take the opportunity to use my cloak to activate the plus two stealth. As you roll around in the floor. Yep, so I'm on 25. Oh, I'm still better. Which is group majority as we discount Rusty. <laughs> oh, uh, Rusty, actually, I'm going to leave behind. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Ippos is having to carry Alan. No, she has a cane. <laughs> I mean, it's a weapon, at least. Health cane. Sure. You... Turns out when the city is built, it hasn't, like, you know, had small people as a, per... as a population. A lot of places for you to hide as you fairly easily and fairly quickly move your way throughout the city. Sewer pipes, oh yeah. Uh, Among other these, things, these yeah. These things are dry? That's good. Yeah, I mean, nobody's been pooping here in a while. Yeah. Maybe there might be, like, remnants of Sludge Mama in there. Yeah, probably. But it's not, like, chock-a-block, though. Uh, so... What is particularly your goal here? Do you want to uh, rendezvous with your teachers, or do you want to find the thing they killed? First of all, first I would like to find the thing they killed. If they're near, if they are nearby, I would like to rendezvous with them. But it's hardly a private. Ipos is pretty much following Aaron's lead, unless he sees something interesting. He he's more naturey than city, so you know he's attra attracted towards interesting things. But otherwise, he's just there to help. Fair enough. You can fairly easily go to the place where you saw uh, your headmistress fighting the massive hands the day before. There's a lot of destruction here. A lot of the city gets repaired by the constructs as they wander about, partially doing their jobs, partially going insane. Uh, it looks as if there's been like massive like. Something smashing into the floor, into the walls, destroying parts of buildings as you walk through the aftermath. Mm. Well, this follow the destruction. Mm -hmm. And the gore. Oh, jeez, how big was this, was this thing? Uh, there's a lot of the ooze, but not like, there isn't like bones or blood and flesh and stuff, just ooze. Well, I suppose it's a type of gore. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yeah, no, but you know, it's stuff. People, not really people. Yeah, you can follow the aftermath to what appears to be like a small, uh, not dugout. Basically, it looks like people moved into a building, reinforced it a bit, and that looks like where they're acting out of. As you see, as you can hear people talking inside. Hmm. Does it sound like the teachers? Aaron will uh, approach the door and sort of listen in for a bit. You can hear your headmistress go, Well, I think I got all the hands. I don't know. There was a lot of hands. We just kind of went like, Ooh. very hard to track and stuff, you know, as you hear a, a mummer. Uh, Aaron, you actually recognize the voice. It is Professor Teltavia, your Golomancy teacher. Okay. As he goes, and Steve, next time, can you not attract the attention of some massive 
beast while we're trying to do studies. He sends her. Uh, I didn't prepare any cure spells today. Did you have any slots open? Of course I didn't. You know I don't work like that. It's fair. She just replies, look, I didn't mean to. It just kind of saw me when I was, you know, doing my thing. You'll be fine. We'll get you back to camp. Madam, where we'll get you. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be right in Rosie. Do we want to talk to them? If Oscar goes to push open the door. Knock. He knocks. The chatter inside quiet and says, someone goes up there. You hear small footsteps go up to the door. Who is it? Is Ippos uh, and Erin. Hello. Oh. Um, she opens the door. Come in, come in. Hi. Hello. I have a kettle on, I'm afraid, but, you know. That's fine. It's okay. Okay. Erin comes in, quickly closes the door. Right, that's a lot of constructs. Keep, uh, okay. Um, right. Just a quick update. We not only found one, but two people who used to live on the island. Did you get the the messages um, what her name was sending? I I can't remember her name. Out of character, I can't remember her name. I don't remember. Yeah, her. The lady from camp. Oh, we lost Bigby. No. Oh no, Bigby. You're messing up my, my my things. Sorry, Miss Clint. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first of all, the Professor Teltavio looks at you. What did, didn't we say to, for you lot to stay away from the city? It's dangerous here. Yes, we did. Point, um, points at Erin. She wanted to come. It was come keep her safe. Yeah, it turns out that I've gotten pretty good at hiding from these constructs. And yeah, it's not... Uh, however, I did come over for another reason. Uh, simply to check on the state of that big hand monster that you guys were... Oh, that thing? Yeah, that's kind of important, by the way. Yeah, it did seem, you know, kind of weird compared to literally everything else here. Okay, cool. Um, Because, just to let you know as an update, the two people that we found that were still living on the island, um, they filled us in on the fact that there are three sort of big stompy monsters. Uh... Ippos and I killed two. Uh, there's one sludge monster that was feeding on the power core of this island. We just sort of dropped it out of the bottom of the island. Good job. It goes yeah, flat. The second, the second one was this big troll monster covered in fungus that was rolling around, and the third one was that big hand monster. Well, um, bit of good news. I did get the messages from Adam Murr, somewhat. Good. Just didn't really reply, but it's fine. Uh, bad news. I don't know if we got it. Like, uh, you know, you know spiders. Yes. You know how, like, when you squish a spider, it goes bleh. Yes. It's just like full of goo and everything. That seems to be a trait of many of the monsters around here. Yeah, the hands were sort of like that, but whenever they all got together, we kind of like turned into this weird bird thing. That's from what I've been told. The issue is, I don't know if that was all of the hands. Oh, so you're saying it was not, like, a creature, it was, like, a thousand creatures? And, uh... I believe oh. the term is a gestalt. <laughs> right. Um, I can see what you mean by this. So, like, uh, you know, if two or three hands got away, I don't know if it could just become a kind of smaller, tinier bird. It was is ah. sure it, it is fine. If it may become smaller, tinier bird. It's sure and anyone here can deal with it. Uh, and maybe um, Tree Druid Lady could tell us if, if that the case. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the higher druid, priestesses... Dryad. One of the higher priestesses of this temple, just like north... Not north, sorry. Uh, west of here lived. And for your information, um, Professor, uh, one of the constructs actually is sentient and is the archivist of one of the uh, cults of... Uh, was that to be a headmistress or your Golemancy teacher? Golemancy teacher. He just kind of... It gives uh, Risty a very pointed eye and says, It seems while we were cooped up in here dealing with all this mess, People have managed, or our students have managed to find much more interesting things than us, Steve. 
why were you guys blocking off this main section anyways? Well, I mean, your headmistress looks around. I, I thought I detected something strange in the center of the city, but mostly we've just found, you know, the gooey, wraithy things, the constructy things. Like, we've tried to get to the middle, but they're just everywhere. Um, question. Were, was it the middle of town or middle below town? Uh, she pauses, taps her face a bit. I guess it was sort of down. I just kind of expected it was going to be in a vault or something. Not quite. Um, there's an entire city underneath this. He, it was points to the northeast was the old mine. Is the the mine thingy up up there? If you go down, it lead to big, big underground city. Many construct things walking around. It seems like that was where the main population lived. Led led to the um the the power center thingy and had the um vault of important peoples in. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Yeah, um, I guess I was a bit off mark then. Yeah. Well, it's not important. We handled it. Um, the core was about to explode. So while it was a rather dramatic loss, it did get stopped. The main thing that powers the city was destroyed, sadly. Yes, island no float to your move now. Just stand. Yeah. Oh. I'm in the right side, but it'll be a lot easier to research now. Uh, I suppose, and we did recover one of the main archivists of this place, so it's not like it's total lot. Are they just uh, back at main camp? Yeah, they... Uh, Rel they, is what we're calling him. They, um, they in, yeah, he's they, back at main camp. They in Druid Garden at the moment. Oh, shit! Yeah, you're right. We did totally just bring him out so they can meet with the Dryad like, that lives here as well. Like, about an hour that way? Huh. Oh, yeah, main priestess, the reason why she survived is because she got blessed, cursed into a dryad. She nice what? person. She's like a plant there? Yeah, she's mostly tree. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to look for those hands. From what I can tell, these things have pretty impressive regeneration properties. I'm not sure I want to leave many of those around. Yeah, that feels fair. Um, well, I don't like the idea of leaving you in the city. It's okay, we sneaky sneaks. Even then, the hands were kind of a uh, rah. Yeah, uh, well, if those other two monsters were also kind of rah. <laughs> mm. Okay, you know what? Uh... Professor Williams is still out there. While you're searching, if you can get her to go along with you. You know where she was? Uh, she's flying about somewhere. You should see her. Ah, uh, okay, fair Hippo enough. sticks his head out a window and looks around. It's, uh, it's basically as if expecting her to be right there. And for my perception? Oh god. Why do I do things that rely uh, on sight? Thirteen. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not hard to see. I was just mostly seeing if your girl was super ass. Uh, you actually see something. You see a beam of light basically spear out the sky and hit somewhere in the city. Oh, there she is, points at the beam of light. Is she wrapping up the hands? Uh, she's kind of just, you know, not a big fan of the undead, so just kind of clearing them out. That's also fair. It works. Um, The rest of the situation going on, is there... Anything else that's been going on around this main town? We've noticed a few things happening that we I haven't placed yet. Oh? Yeah, there's a, a few things that I haven't been able to add up. You're not good at uh, math. I'm very good uh, at math, I thank understand. you. <laughs> no, stop it. It's the only thing I'm good at. Uh, I mean, the only real weird thing... Yeah, it's not even really weird. Some of the other classmates walked past here. We, you know, shooed them off. They went north somewhere. Other uh, than the big handy thing? No, nothing really weird. Up north to the old mine, I assume? Yeah. We ran across them. They're... Oh. 
Yeah. They're fine. They're just still down there. Yeah, they came here, got chased by some big kind of like buildy, constructy looking thing, mob obity thing. You can get how it is. They ran away. They went, you know, don't come here, it's dangerous. Where did that go? Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? It's a big building construct thing. You lost it? Mm. Ah, fair anyway. Enough. I've been, you know, busy. I, I understand. You are still do you need a healing potion? I have a spare, I think. Uh, the headmistress has not a scratch on her. Not her, the other guy who's oh. bandaging himself. Uh, if you have something that you'd wish to give me, I would not say no. Some of us have been having a harder time of it than others. Aaron rummages around in her bag and holds out a healing potion to him. It's a cure Thank light you very message. much. The teachers yeah. are underleveled. <laughs> wow. I may have spilled a bit running away from a few things. I mean, at least it would stop any bleed effects. Maybe. And he looks slightly better. I'll tell you now, he's like, you know, a wizardy little shit. He has not that much hit points to lose <laughs> anyway. Oh, so he's half healed. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, whenever you find Professor Williams, just come back here, we'll be here, we'll be fine. All right. Whenever you turn to leave, she just goes, Okay, time to see if I can plug up these holes with something in here. As Professor Deltavia just looks around and goes, Here, Steve, shut up. Alright, Aaron <laughs> will leave the building. And if possible, we'll follow. Back as, as Aaron leaves the building, she, you'll notice that she mutters a few things to her. You fuck. Ippo's going ahead. Um, give me a few seconds. I'll be right back. Mm. Ippos isn't going to stop Aaron from doing what she's doing, but he's not leaving her. He'll sort of give her a bit of space, but, uh, you know, staying in eye contact, basically. Yeah, uh, there's a few things around these buildings I want to make sure that are fine. Um, Aaron's going to stick around that building for a little bit and just kind of listen in. There's probably like a minute of silence where, well, not really silence, just kind of the sound of them shuffling about doing stuff before uh, a male voice says, What are you up to now, Steve? The games again? There's the sound of a tool being put down on the table. The sound of latex, like snapping onto skin. Oh my. <laughs> start. She goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's fine. They managed, didn't they? Well, they did better than us, at least. Roll me spellcraft. Can I roll engineering instead? Yes. You can use... It's basically identifying a spell. Uh, normally, this can be only used for... item. In which case, no. I'll roll it anyways. Fair enough. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that's 20! <one> Yay! <laughs> In fairness, this is a spell you've heard enough of the incantation for. Uh, someone's casting a cure spell as a sigh of relief is let out. Did you really have to wait that long? Blood all over my robes. <sighs> Come on, we should back up before we get back. <sighs> Sod off. As you hear the Professor Teltave get up from the floor and busy about. Was that sawed off? A response? That was from him oh, as just... well. Okay. She didn't say anything for a while there. Hmm. After that, it's pretty much just a sense of him putting stuff away. Aaron's going to try something quick. Hi, hi. She's going to uh, quickly rummage around in her bag and uh, qu quickly and quietly take out take one of her ion stones off of her head, put it in a little gr grip vice, put it on a very, like, between a bunch of springs and it's just, uh, sort of a uh, sort of a uh, sort of a matrix, just to make sure that it's suspended, floating in air by just all directions, so it's not being like pinned down by gravity, or just making sure that it's like floating in space by these springs, so it's pulled apart in all ways. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of holding it to see if it reacts to like maybe if there's like a psychic force in the area, just seeing if it like moves. Because if she wasn't talking, that means something else is going on. And since Error doesn't have any form of detection magic, she needs to try to figure out 
if there's something else going You got any use magic device? I do. Where is it for me, please? I like the idea you're basically, you're basically trying to douse with an ion stone. Yeah. Playing the wrong characters this is not your dowsing character. Yeah, I know. You actually rolled quite well there. The star doesn't react to anything. You think she might just have been silent for some reason. Mm. <sighs> You're going to whisper in my head. You can give me at least good information or like a path of trying to find fucking crap. No. <laughs> Jesus. Where are you Come even? On. Do it yourself. I've already given you every fucking every, every little thing. Just do it. Aaron peeks up and see if she can peek through a window to see if... Well, the original 28 perception up there was to see if Aaron just saw anything, like, hidden on her person. Uh, uh, Aaron's going yeah, to peek through a window to try to... Yeah. Aaron's going to peek through a window. Yeah, give me a stealth. But I'll tell you now, you don't see... I mean, you see the things that she openly carries, a small magical... Uh, well, just from, from what you've heard from rumors, is magical uh, hourglass around her neck. Her weapon of choice is actually a, uh, I think it's a rip saw. You know, there's not much weapons where we pull the cord in it. It's basically oh, a Jesus. <laughs> oh, Miss Chainsaw? Yes. I've heard that. Yeah, she's one. kind of decked out in magic items. 30, uh, 34. Damn. That's quite a how, stealth. How much does she light up like a Christmas tree for magical protection, by the way? Very. I, I still think got she has this. most of her item slots uh, open or filled with magic items. <laughs> uh, as you peer inside, she just kind of looks, with her back t turned to the other professor, she looks, what's the emotional word? Not like annoyed, but kind of like, why do I have to do this? If you get what I mean. Disgruntled, that's a good word. There's not... Okay. Come on, do something. Fuck. Okay, voices is whispering in my head. Is this what it's happened? like to have a patron? Shit. Okay. Um, oh. Fuck you. I'm just kind of uh, here for variety. Where are you? Oh, God, where even are you? Okay, um... You don't find that out until Act 2. What does that mean? <laughs> Fuck. Just feel the remnant of a winky face as the voice leaves. Ah, so it's a bard voice. Um, yeah. Aaron's patient, to an extent. Um, if you're watching for a while, they're just quite literally packing up. Okay. They don't talk at all anymore. Aaron will like a little hand gesture to Ippos and slip back down. Okay, was that a gesture to come over? Yeah, it was a like, come here. Right, he comes gesture. over. Well, okay. it's a fireball gesture. Okay, they... Uh, I don't know how to put this, but... Uh, long story short, I have someone who pissed off at me. Um, and I just got this feeling that she's hiding something. I don't know what. So sort of blinks at you? I don't... She, she's hiding the importance. She seemed disgruntled about well, one, her other professor was saying, hey, you're playing your tricks again. What the fuck? Um, the other one's like, oh, no, this is, this is what do you mean? They're doing great. Oh, yeah, but we take all the damage, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, they're pissed off. Uh, long story short, though, I think there's still a reason why they're in this main city, not going down to the old mine. I think she knew there's something else in the city. Okay, what sort of thing you think? I don't like, know. Big, she hasn't been big able to bad the thing? Or, or, like, information thing? Or... I don't know. She said she detected like some strange force. I don't know if she was telling the truth by that. Uh, but I still feel like she has a reason for being here. So, what you want to do? Go center of city or go find handy thing? Handy thing is one thing, but honestly, I don't really care. Um, the thing I came here for was information about what the hell are these things and what's going on. If I can find more information by, you know, Stealing whatever she wants out from under her nose. The... Mm, I was not sure we should be stealing from Headmistress Lady. It's more about getting there first. I don't care if I have it. Well, first thing is where is there? Shall we just go center or? She said center of town, so I, mm, I have the preference to go there. I don't think she was lying in that regard. I just don't know if she's entirely truthful about her ambitions for trying to get to the center of town. 
Oh. Okay. He just starts walking towards the center of town. You don't know where you're going. This place is a labyrinth. Get behind me. It was confined center. It, they, sh they haven't found center. They found center. They just couldn't get center. <sighs> All right. Come on. Yeah, and Ippos and Aaron are going to try to find out. They're going to look around town to see what else has been going on. Yeah. Ippos, uh, other note. Ippos can have the tech magic running if that helps does, to find yeah. strange things. Uh, one thing I will note does everyone else have. Is anyone else not wearing the Iron Star right now? I think everyone is. Ippos is. If everyone who's or everyone's not wearing it, but if everyone is wearing it, you feel everyone who isn't currently in the main city just kind of feels this weird, funny feeling than the empathic link. So Ipos doesn't feel that. No. Mm. Can I try to buy it? Uh, is it an emotion? It is an emotion, but it feels okay. like a if an emotion of someone who'd never felt an emotion had sent an emotion. <laughs> Roll me a sense motive. Sick. <laughs> uh, feels like, weird. Like... Oh, that's... Silas, Alana, it feels like humor. Like the raw concept of humor. Like it's it's not so much um, like laughing at something or being entertained by something. It is just humor. Yeah. Is this if someone's like sent you on Discord teehee? <laughs> Weird. Someone just sends LOL down the link. Yeah. Braille. Yeah, it's not Braille. Morse code. I wonder if that means we can send flip the tables down there. <laughs> <laughs> Slash shrug. Shrug's an emotional state, right? Technically. Yeah. State of like yeah. indifference. But you two can progress closer to the center of the city. Sneaky, Aaron will sneaky, take sneaky. the opportunity to pull her ion zone out of the thing. Oh, the okay, made. Out of the contraption. Yeah. Okay. The contraption has a weird smiley face on it now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. Everything touches <laughs> him turns to smiley face. Um, the weird thing is, you can very easily get to the center of the city. What? As you kind of get there, it appears to be. Like a kind of, uh, like where you'd have like a big market set up around like a big circle. There isn't like a main keeper or anything or like a castle in the middle. At least this is, you know, Erin. Erin is a very good engineer and such. She's pretty sure this would be the center of the city. Is there like a town hall kind of thing near here? Uh, not really. Hmm. You think maybe... a garden. You think maybe she say, come here, knowing we would come here when there's nothing here? Possible. I did at least get her to admit that it was a little below, and honestly, I don't know much about this headmistress, but she gives me the willies sometimes. But, um, it could be. Uh, give me a second, I want to look around. Uh, Aaron's going to look around the main center of town. One of the other towns we went to, the center of town, had one of these constructs that are giving information terminals at one of the abandoned town at the very far south that's where i got the lightning orb mm -hmm. it seemed to be like in the ground does it this place have anything similar like maybe yeah. there's a part of the stonework that like slides away or something like that and you can find more sewer accesses but that's not quite what you're wanting no there, there doesn't appear to be like a governmental or, or uh, organizational building near here there's like a park, there's this uh, this squarish area where the market is. Uh, if you're willing to search around a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm looking for yeah. like, because the other town had this in the central square thing, had this construct in like the middle mm -hmm. of the square, didn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't. All the platforms that you found have been in buildings. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll look around a bit. Epos looks around the park. Uh, roll me. Well, don't necessarily have to roll me anything, but if you want to roll me a survival. Survival? Yeah. Okay. Seems kind of random. Urban survival is a thing. And it's more because you're in the park. Just looking around the park, but. Nice. Sure. 
Okay. I mean, I'm yeah, untrained in survival and perception. It wouldn't matter which one you chose. It would have come out with the same thing. That's fair. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice part. I do still have to take magic untouched. money if that helps. Uh, there's a general magic ward to the city itself that you can kind of see imbuing the, you know, like the lampposts, the buildings and such, but overall nothing that kind of screams at you this is a big important thing. Uh, Aaron, searching around, you do find a kind of government building like a street or two away. Okay. She'll uh, push in the door. Yeah. It opens. You're inside. It's dark and a bit dusty, but doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Aaron will take her little, hey, I'm in this building badge, stick it out the door for him, and then go inside. <laughs> uh, you can quite quickly find another one of the terminals, but I like a lot of the others. This one's been smashed. Is there any distinctive features about it? The smashing? Uh, no, making it. Sure, it's smashed up, but I was wondering if this one's any yeah. more important than the other, important looking than the other. Uh, it's a bit larger, it's a bit but larger. beyond that, nothing uh, that particularly screams importance. Power socket's empty, I'm assuming? Yes. Hmm. As for the rest of the building, it's kind of similar to the first town you found, it's just, you know, a bit bigger. There's like a sheriff's office, there appears to be like an office where a priest might set up. There's a what you would assume is like a mayor's office. This is going to be loud and obnoxious. Okay, hopefully I can get this done quick. Aaron pulls out a little gadget, pulls a ripcord on it. It starts spinning and shooting sparks everywhere. She casts Detect Magic. Uh, secret. Detect Secret Doors. Yeah. Uh, actually, much like the uh, first office you're in as well, there's a uh, safe hidden behind the painting. There we go. Hi, safe. I'll come back to you. Other than you... that, let me see. In the, what you would assume is like the mayor's office, there is actually a trap door. Thank but you. when you fiddle with one of the light fixtures as your spell, you know, runs its course, basically it opens up in the floor and leads down. Uh, with the ion stones, can I send to a specific person or everybody? Uh, it's pretty much just, you know, slash all. It's okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll set that back up around my head and then I'll go... Um... Uh, interesting over the uh, over the link over the link which the overlink yeah <laughs> everyone suddenly gets the emo the emotion of interest well I guess attention hmm. well Ipos will start wandering in Aaron's di vague direction he doesn't know exactly where she is but I assume at some point he'll see her stick on the door it's not hard to see. Uh, it's no. It's designed to be noticed. Yeah, but so, it, it's just one of those things where we went in different directions, and then you've gone like two streets over. Mm -hmm. So it'll it'll take him a short while to figure out exactly where she's gone. Well, if this is waiting and it's coming over, I'm gonna before going down the trap door, I'm going to at least open the safe. Okay, give me the simple devices. It's so another number combo safe. Damn. Is that a thirty-three? Is a thirty-three, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you crack that, crack that baby open record time. Guess what's inside? Asses, you can't just leave your safe on the fucking combination. Pulls it, <laughs> open. <laughs> what's it's inside? More Is electrum it electrum coins. It's more electrum. You find uh, one hundred twenty electrum coins. Silas's favorite. Check for Ooh, secret right. bits in the safe. Yeah, I am. I do. <laughs> there's, there's no secret, additional secret compartments. There's, there's no the like false bottom on it or anything. No. Aww. You can only be so paranoid. Yeah. I mean, there's a. You Aaron, can go Aaron pretty far with paranoia. <laughs> as soon as I hear the front door push open and I hear the clawed feet of Ippos, I just sort of do a quick whistle and come back around the corner with a little bag, uh, pouch of money that I clip onto one of my. Uh, oh, you found more shinies. Okay. Not the important bit. The other important bit's over here. Ah. He comes over. And, yeah, it's a big fucking heavy rug. Could you help for a second here? He sort of briefly gives her a look of, really? And then helps her move the rug. I give him a look of, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Keep small is good for stealth, not for lifting rugs. <laughs> I mean, we are both negative strength, so... <laughs> yeah. With teamwork, we can do it. With power of teamwork. Uh, there's a trapdoor here. Okay. Okay. All right. If you don't mind, I'm going to go down there, and you're going to help me if I start screaming. Okay. Aaron's going to pull out her ever burning torch, uh, basically sort of sh shove it in one of her uh, front pouches just so it sort of sticks out like a little lamp, and then start trying to find her way down that uh, track. And if us will just follow. You can walk down this dark stairway. As you kind of, as you can quite quickly feel it start to spiral. And, well, it seems like this appears to be like an access to the Undercity from this city. Maybe like a sort of, oh, have an emergency getaway stairway. Hmm, okay. Still might be it's, important, he might have an office down there or something. Takes you a couple of minutes to get down all the stairs. But you do, oops, you do eventually come into an office. It looks almost identical to the one upstairs. Fuck, I'm tired. Okay. Uh, Aaron sort of goes into the office and sits down in the chair. <laughs> you okay? There's a lot of stairs for you. There's a lot of stairs. Okay, you you sit there, rest a minute, if us look around. Okay. Is it literally, like, just the one room there, or is, does it, like, lead into other places? Uh, it opens up a, into what appears to be another kind of governmental building. He's he's going to leave Aaron in that room and just sort of start exploring the rest of the building. Yeah. Seems as they at least have this stuff standardised as you find pretty much a very similar layout with another destroyed platform. Uh, why everything have to be broken? Appears to be on the far side of where you uh, would have came down from the old mine. Hmm. Anything important in post? Mm, just looks same as upstairs. Um, can I'm assuming we can like see the Undercity from here? It's on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Not much has changed can, since you've left. Can see same underground city place, but is on opposite side from where we came before. Fuck. All right. Oh God, now we have to go up the stairs. Okay. Um. Could go through I... Undercity and go up mine. I have to go get back. I have to get back to Rusty. Oh yeah. I kind of put him in the closet. I don't really want to. <sighs> Let me take a glance around to see if I notice anything. Ipos checks behind the painting for another safe. Right. As much as everything else is kind of identical, there is not another safe behind the painting. <laughs> he only has so the person who used this office only had so so much use for so many safes. Yeah. It seems. Yeah. Aaron will take a look out on the town down here just to see if there's like any massive plumes of fire or smoke or something like that from the other party that was down here. You don't see massive plumes of fire or smoke, I can tell you that much. Uh, but you do see this is actually strangely easy to see. You can see what appears to be like this big foggy wave kind of moving slowly throughout the town. Is that Epos? Can you roll my perception? I'm yeah. guessing it's an ob obscuring mist or similar. Epos, what is that? That, there. No, no, not over there. There. Aaron says, grabbing his head and turning <laughs> it in the right direction. Right there. His big misty cloud thing. Big, big misty cloud things aren't on the ground. I mean, could be. Might have geyser or something down here. Make steam, make mist. This thing isn't... Uh... Attached to the earth, there isn't any geothermal activity. The one thing, this isn't really an ice perception check, this is a nose perception check, as Aaron gets a stray whiff of a strong scent of alcohol. Fuck, what is that? It was sort of licking the air and can't taste much. Alcohol. Uh, actually alcohol, not actually, like, ammonia, it's... It appears to be aerosolized alcohol. What the hell? Ah, oh, they learnt from It's a your decent test. bit away, but it smells strong. I'm pretty sure... Do you remember if the other people made it back to camp, or was this them? I don't think they did. Oh, the character? They did not. Oh, crap. 
If it's this strong from that distance, they're likely passed out drunk. Maybe. But Witches if they good. passed out, Cl Cloud was moving, yes? They wouldn't be in no more. And we have a countdown. Um, we should probably maybe get them. As you say that, uh, there's an explosion as, well, it seems the cloud just ignites. Fuck! Oh, Jesus! Oh, dear! It's blinding for a second as it lights up the entire Undercity. While, oh my god! While the Undercity is lit up, can we see the party, like, not in the explosion? No, though what you do see in the aftermath is the area where the light went off is suddenly swarmed by constructs. Oh. oh, distraction, it distraction, they they send out, out alcohol cloud, it float away from them, then it go boom and construct go there rather than where party is. Aaron's going to try to think back and remember, did she see like an arcing flaming arrow come from somewhere before that cloud? cloud? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I hate saying this, but we're on the reception. Jeez, ah. okay. The issue in noticing things is important. In fact, yes. You see, so, in Aaron's apparently 4K resolution eyes, <laughs> uh, you actually notice an arrow similar to the one that you found in the underground grove. Oh. A rag tied to its head as the flame plunges into the cloud and you know, the bright light happens. Aaron says this, okay, well, other than the fact that it's seared into my retinas after looking at that massive light, I did see something streak into the cloud before it went off. Mostly because it is seared into my retinas. Aaron says that she's crumpled <laughs> behind the window, hiding from the explosion. <laughs> it's just eyes wide open. See, your boss was right. It was distraction. Must have been. I mean, that's a good reason. Um, yeah, the, I think they're doing okay. Then I mean, I'm guessing there's no further like explosions and stuff as they like destroy the constructs or anything like that. No, but you do see what you think is the beginnings of another cloud, further al along the streets. Like, floating towards the gathered constructs, or...? Uh, it looks to be slowly expanding, first of all. Mm, they making another cloud. No, it's, it's not that far away, actually. Oh. With three streets over. Oh. It, that's quite um, close. That's pretty close. Um... Should we circle round, go find them, or runny run? Maybe close the windows? I mean, is there windows on these? Draw the shutters or something, I don't know. Yeah, we draw whatever's there. <laughs> sure, there's a pair of shutters that you can draw closed. Uh, actually, uh, fuck, okay. Did they have someone strong with them? Drugs? It must not know... <sighs> party very well. Uh, I don't I... know. They had little scaredy lady, they had man with fancy flower knife. Uh, don't really remember rest. Fine, I'll give him a hand. Aaron pops up, uh, goes to the window, pu uh, pulls over one of the shades and her ever-burning torch, and uh, sort of does this weird signaling thing where she opens and closes the window. Uh, the curtains to uh, hide and reveal the torch to as like a form of signaling to see if anyone notices. Let's see if anyone does. Let's see who had the highest perception. Oh, good. Okay, why don't you do the thing? <laughs> I should do everything myself in this house, don't I? Ooh. Yeah, that's good enough. You do hear the distinct slapping of feet on cobbles as when Aaron flashes the light, they run over. Hi! Hi! Yeah, hello. Uh, the first thing, I'm assuming you open the window and look out again. Yeah. Uh, scaredy girl is fucking sloshed out her mind. <laughs> what have you done? She's like swing. I'm fine, you said I'd be fine. <laughs> I did say you would be fine. Oh my god, you are a mess. Did you, are you drooling on yourself? What have you done? No. To her? Oh dear. Get inside the building. Please. Please let us in. Please. Let you in. Hi, yes. Oh, oh, shit, it's locked. Give me a second. Uh, there. Okay. Aaron opens the door. Uh, when you let them in, we're gonna quickly cut away. As they stab us all repeatedly. It was yes. a trap all along. Rest in peace. No. Uh, actually, 
Uh, Torn, you here? Torn. You're okay, bye, Jesse. Whoa, well, if your microphone might be muted. I mean, his microphone's oh, definitely God. muted. It's whether he realizes and if he's here to turn it off. Yeah, but my point is, I was just checking if he had gone. Uh, well, okay. Wolf, I suppose. I'm assuming that Ash was pretty content with whatever they got, so they'd probably be going back to camp. I guess. Shrug. Uh, you, uh, Alana, and Silas, you actually. Something happens. Do we spontaneously combust? Yes. No. Unless you want to. I don't have that power to spontaneously combust. Turns out there was a phoenix blooded sorcerer and they just set you all on fire. But that would be a good thing. Yes, that's why they did it. So I'm assuming that, you know, with people not being particularly busy, you meet up. You hear a voice. Yeah. It's screaming. It's not screaming. It just goes, uh, Why are you lots so of boring? Oh, God. Silas, so, so you feel uh, a bit in your side as it feels like you're being nudged with a foot. Do something. Come on. Yeah. Alright. Who are you? You look around. Silas is going to paint psychic significance. Uh, Silas, you're blinded for a moment, which appears to be the, you know, thing that happens whenever you ping psychic significance recently. There's a figure right. standing. Alright, who are you? Are you invisible? The figure that stands before you uh, looks absolutely like nothing you've ever seen. They're strangely incandescent, as they, their hair seems to be just glowing, and they kick you again. Come on, do something. You're not answering Aaron my question. Aaron isn't this boring. You're not answering my question. Who are you? Who's again? Oh, but uh, I am voice. Come on, do something. Why? Yeah. Why not? I paid good money to watch you. Really now, did you? Wait, who's no. That's mm. one. Look, Aaron's out doing there something stupid, whatever, but you, especially you, Ponzi man, you just do nothing. Come on. I like this thing. If you thing. do not want me to do nothing, then I will continue to do nothing as it turns out. I have my agenda, and oh, what you I wish agree. does not factor into that. Yeah. Look, I laid down so many. So many hints, but what's going on? The least you could do is follow them. I do not appreciate a random, psychically charged figure appearing before me and then demanding that I do something or giving vague hints that Aaron may be in trouble or is in fact doing something stupid, which I knew she was already. I'm telling you, you said that. She knows I would say that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, I've said all I can. Bye! <sighs> Aaron, you get the winky face in your mind again. 